This video will show you to install, set up or host an FTP server on a Windows PC. For that, you do not require any third party software. We'll use inbuilt FTP services available in all Windows version. Once the FTP server is live on your PC, you can use an FTP client on another computer or mobile to access your files. Before you get started, make sure the computer that will act as an FTP server is assigned a local static IP address. To do so, open the network connections page. Right click on your active network adapter, click status, then details. This IP address is temporarily assigned by DHCP. We have to make it permanent. So note down your IP addresses. Then click on Properties, Internet Protocol version 4. Enter your IP addresses here. Click OK to save the settings. To install the FTP software, we need to turn on FTP services from the Windows Features page. Here, click the plus button next to the Internet Information Services. Then, click the plus next to FTP Server. Check the boxes for FTP Server, FTP Extensibility and FTP Service. Also, check the Web Management Tools option. Now, click OK and it will install the necessary software. After installing the required components, we can proceed to configure an FTP server. First of all, create a folder that will contain all of the files on your FTP server. Make sure you move all of the files that you want to share inside this folder. Now, to set up an FTP site, open IIS Manager. Click the arrow next to your computer's name. Right-click Sites and select the Add FTP Site option. In the FTP site name, type a short descriptive name for the server. In the Content directory, select the folder that you created. In the IP address field, enter the static IP address that you assign to the PC. Keep the default FTP port, which is 21. Check the box next to start FTP site automatically. Check the no SSL option. If you are going to use the FTP server to transfer files on your local network, then it's OK to avoid using an SSL certificate here. However, in a business environment, it's best practice to configure the site to use an SSL. In the authentication section, check the basic option. The basic option will require FTP clients to log in with an account. But if you want to allow FTP clients to log in without a username and password, select the anonymous option. From this drop down, select who can connect to the FTP server. If you want to allow any user with an account on this PC, just select all users. If you want to create a user account that's specifically for FTP, select specific users. Then enter its username. Give the user read and write permission to the FTP directory. Click on finish. Your FTP server will now go online whenever your computer is on and connected to the network. To create an FTP user, we can just add a local user account to this PC. Please follow the steps to create a user without a Microsoft account. Enter a username and password. We'll require this username and password to log in from FTP clients. Once the user is added, we have to give it access to the FTP directory. 
To do so, please follow the steps. Right click the FTP folder, click properties. In security tab, click edit. Then add the user and give it full control. By default, the FTP connections will be blocked by Windows Firewall. So, we have to manually allow the service through Firewall. To do so, open Windows Firewall. Click on Allow an app or feature through Firewall. Click the Change Settings button. Then allow the FTP server for both private and public access. Once we have done this, the FTP server should now be accessible from the local network. However, if you still can't access the server from FTP clients, I'd suggest you to completely disable Windows Firewall. If you are accessing the FTP server from a Windows computer, you do not need to install any FTP client software. Windows File Explorer itself has an inbuilt option for connecting to an FTP server. So, to connect the FTP server, open File Explorer. Click on this PC, then right click on an empty space and select Add a Network Location. Here, enter the address of the FTP server in this form. Uncheck the Log on Anonymously option and enter your FTP username here. Enter a name for the network location. Once done, the FTP site appears in File Explorer. Just double click on it. The first time you connect to the FTP server, you will be prompted to enter your password. This would be the password of the local user account that you added to the PC. Once you have access to the FTP server, you can transfer files by copying and pasting them to and from this folder. You can also use a dedicated FTP client software like FileZilla, Cyberduck, etc. to connect to the FTP server. To access the FTP server from an Android phone, you can install an FTP client app from Play Store. So guys, by following this guide, you can now get started with the FTP server feature available on Windows.